Hi friends, today I'm here to read you a story called Nuffle Bunny. The author, the person who wrote the words is Mo Williams. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. A laundromat is where people go to do their laundry. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. She even got to put the money into the machine. They left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, clabble. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Friends, this is called the speech bubble in the illustration. The speech bubble shows that Trixie is saying something. Aggle, flaggle, clabble, said Trixie again. Blaggle, plapple, wumbly, flappy, slurp. Now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Fussy means angry or upset. Well, she had no choice. Trixie Bob, wah! Notice all the letters in this speech bubble are capital. That means they're said loudly. And when you bawl, that means you're crying very loudly. How is Trixie feeling right now, friends? She went boneless. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Nuffle Bunny? The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school. That means they were moving very fast and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked, but Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until Nuffle Bunny. How is Trixie feeling now, friends? Look at her face. How is she feeling? And those were the first words Trixie ever said. Friends, what happens in this story? What feelings does Trixie have in this story? Oh, I think she goes from maybe being sad to upset to happy, right? Friends, I want you today to write a story about something that has made you sad or mad in the past. We'll read these stories together when we get back to school. Now remember to think about adding these very interesting speech bubbles that tell more. Let me find a speech bubble as an example so you can see. Remember, this is this is Trixie here and she's saying something. She's really trying to express her feelings before she can even talk. So if you do a writing piece, please add speech bubbles and think about how they add to the story. Remember when you're writing to start your sentences with a capital letter and end with a punctuation mark. Tell me about something sad that's happened in your life and how it turned out. I miss you and I'll see you soon. Bye.